Hello everyone, I'm Jerry D'Ambrosia with VectorVest. Feel free anytime during the video to like, share, and comment. We'd love your feedback. Uh, what I'm going to do today is just talk about the many facets and features of the VectorVest program. This will be one of many videos where I go through really some of the advantages that VectorVest has to offer. So what we're looking at here is uh, the S&P 500 watch list. Just go ahead and click on S&P 500 watch list. You can see that watch list load. Now this is a watch list of all 504 companies uh, in the S&P 500. And when you open up a watch list within the VectorVest program, it automatically sorts it by our VST indicator. VST combines value, safety, and timing. I'll get into that indicator in a, free, a future video, uh, but the indicator that I wanted to talk about today is right next to VST. It's called CI or Comfort Index. You've heard of the ulcer index, right? Well, the CI indicator, the comfort index, is just the complete opposite, the polar opposite of the ulcer index. Uh, CI is ranked on a zero to two scale. When it's above one, that's considered favorable. When it's below one, that's considered unfavorable. The higher above one, the better, the closer to two, the better. And with the ulcer index, that indicator rises as price falls. And the longer price falls, the higher that indicator goes. Well, this is the opposite. So the higher or uh, farther price goes and the longer price rises, the higher the CI indicator will go. So within the VectorVest program, you can force rank any list of stocks by any indicator that you see here in our spreadsheet. Okay. Again, I'll get into many of these other indicators in future videos. Just wanted to focus on CI first, Comfort Index. Comfort Index measures a stock's ability to resist long or lengthy price declines. Over time, they exhibit tremendous price growth persistence. So the higher the number, the longer price has been rising. So in this market, especially over the last year or so, you know, we want to find companies that outperform the market, right? That grow their earnings consistently and predictably. Well, price goes from bottom left to upper right. So if you're looking at a chart, a one year chart, you want to see price go from bottom left to upper right, right? Those are the investments that we want to favor. Let me just show you guys what the overall market has done over the last one year. So what we're looking at here is what we call the VectorVest composite. It's an index of all 9,000 plus stocks that we currently track. So you're used to looking at the S&P or the Dow or the NASDAQ as broad market benchmarks. I know the S&P is the um, more familiar one to everybody. The S&P tracks 500 stocks. We feel that, again, this is called the VVC, VectorVest Composite, represents a much better representation or is a much better representation of the overall broad market because it tracks 9,000 stocks. It tracks all the stocks in the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell. So it tracks a lot of stocks. This is the performance of the VVC or the overall market over the last one year. So our, jobs, uh, our job as investors is to find stocks that outperform the overall market. So again, what do we look for? We look for bottom left to upper right. Normally what you would do is you, you would go through chart after chart, right? Stock after stock and favor the ones that have that nice steady price growth persistence, you know, particularly over the last one year. Um, you discard the ones that are a little bit more volatile, that don't have that growth persistence. So when I go to viewers, so that's the overall market. I want everybody to understand what the market has done over the last one year, what the market looks like over the last one year. And I want to show you how powerful our CI indicator is. So if I force rank this list of 500 stocks by CI, I want to show you guys something. I'm going to scroll over to the right. What does that bring to the top of the list? It brings mostly all oil stocks, right? Mostly all oil. Now we know over the last year and longer, that oil has been rising, right? That's no surprise to anybody. Uh, I think May of 2020 was the oil bottom where uh, barrel was about $19. Crazy, right? We're at well over 100 now. So that was just a couple of years ago. So we all know that over the last year or so, at least oil has been rising. What about those stocks that we don't know so much about or, or the stocks in the sectors that we don't know necessarily which ones have been rising the most or the most consistent over the last one year while the broad market has fallen. So forget about oil. I'm going to discard oil. So we have a watch list in here called S&P 500, no Petro. This is all uh, of the stocks, 484 of them. There are about 20 oil stocks in the S&P 
500. These are all of the uh, non-oil, if you will, stocks. So I can do the same thing. I can scroll over. I can sort by comfort index. That's going to rank all 484 uh, stocks by that CI indicator. And we can go ahead and graph them. So I'm going to pull the graph over. Remember, the higher the above one, the better. And since we rank these by CI, it brings the stocks at the top of the list with the highest CI ratings. So here's WRB. It's an insurance company. We're looking at the last one year comfort index at the bottom. Comfort index over the last one year has been above one. If I, I would have to scroll back a little bit further to see the first time that it did cross above one. Again, going from unfavorable to favorable. But we're looking at the last year. And I'm going to go through some of these charts pretty quickly. What I want you to recognize is the fact that over the last one year, price is finishing higher than it did one year ago. Very different, right, from what the overall market is doing or has done over the last one year. So these high CI stocks, again, CI is an indicator that you'll only get with VectorVest. Uh, it's a proprietary indicator. Uh, high CI stocks, opposite of the ulcer index, the high CI or the CI rises more and, and faster as price rises for a longer per, uh, period, uh, duration of time, okay? So I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. I want you to recognize that as of the hard right edge, price is higher now than it was one year ago. CI, again, looks at the persistent growth in price long-term. All stocks are gonna pull back. They all are. Uh, these high CI stocks have shown the ability to resist those pullbacks and continue to grow in price over the long term. So I'm going to keep going. Here we don't have a lot of data on C uh, CEG. Here's Archer Daniels, ADM. It's a food company. CI has been above one for the last one year. I know price has pulled back recently, but do you guys remember? Let me minimize that. Go back to the market. When did the market start falling? The high of the VectorVest composite was in November, okay? The high of the VVC was in November. Well, take a look at where November is on the chart here with, uh, with ADM. Right in this area here, the CI was at 1.25 and the stock was at 66 bucks. It's currently at 87 and change. So this stock has uh, more than held its own and you know, outperformed the market quite a bit over the same time period from November, which was the high, till current. And I'll scroll through the rest of these here. Here's MOH, Molina Healthcare, higher now than it was one year ago. Comfort Index has been above one the entire year. Costco, higher now than it was a year ago. Costco is going through some troubles here, but it's still a high CI stock. It's at 1.26. Here's NI, stock price is higher now than it was a year ago. Stock does or has pulled back from time to time. And this CI actually just crossed above one recently, uh, end of last year, beginning of this year. Here's EIX, also just crossed from below one to uh, above one recently. Here's OKE, KIM, there's Tyson. Keep going through the list. These stocks, these high CI stocks, have outperformed the market tremendously, especially over the last one year, but particularly since November of last year. Right? We know what the overall market has done from November of last year. And you can see that these stocks have outperformed the market um, quite a bit. So what I want to show you too here, to finally to finish, that's our CI indicator. What you can also do here is if you want to see how CF Industries has performed compared to the market, you can actually change the stock graph to a performance graph. What it first does is it loads the stock and it compares it to its industry group, compares it to its peers. If we want to look up to see how well the stock has uh, performed compared to the overall market. We would just look up the VectorVest composite, check that, check that box. You can, you can see the performance of the VVC compared to the performance of these high comfort index stocks. So the longer price rises, the higher that CI indicator goes. So not only has the stock outperformed the market, but the industry recently too. You can see the industry group uh, outperforming the market as well. So folks, that's just one of many indicators uh, within the VectorVest program. In future videos, uh, I will highlight some of the other indicators as well. 
Um, if you want a stock analysis report, anybody watching out there, uh, if you're not a VectorVest subscriber, you can get a free stock analysis report. Just click the link below. What that'll do is it will uh, you type in the st uh, stock symbol and it will pull up one of VectorVest stock analysis reports. And you can see what we say about the stock that you own or the stock that you're interested in. Uh, interested in how we value the stock, what we think the long-term upside potential is, uh, our risk assessment, our trend analysis on that individual stock. So I would suggest to do that. Just again, click the link below for that stock analysis report. Don't forget to tune into future videos, folks. We're going to go through a lot more of the VectorVest program.